new annual dementia numbers in the U.S. are expected to double over the next few decades. And that's especially troubling for a state like Arizona, which has the fastest growing rate of Alzheimer's in the country. The reality of it came to and hit me pretty hard. Leonard and his partner Mark have turned an Alzheimer's disease diagnosis into a mission. I'm, I'm really grateful to Mark because it's a journey that we're taking together. They're advocating for many things for families in their same position, including getting faster diagnoses. And it took another three and a half years to finally get a mild cognitive impairment diagnosis because he was young and doctors, PAs, a neurologist, um, all thought it was just stress. Better access to health care. It's really a policy thing and it needs to start locally at the city level, the state level and the federal level. And they want to destroy the stigma around dementia related diseases. There's so many other illnesses that people can just talk about so easily. National researchers released a new study saying that come 2060, 1 million people every year will get a dementia diagnosis, doubling current numbers. That number is staggering. Of course, an aging population plays a massive part in this, but it's not all. Our lifestyles are very much driven by unhealthy cardiovascular risk factors. So those are significantly adding to our risk of cognitive changes in dementia overall. The study noting healthcare disparities, where black Americans could face triple the numbers of annual diagnoses each year by 2060. You can't fix it overnight, mm -hmm. but there has to be a conscious effort in fixing it. That effort to change the future is exactly what this couple is fighting for. It's either that or just, you know, crawl over under a rock and just, you know, let life go by, but I'm not that type of person. Lillian Donahue, Arizona Tonight.